It's uh, Saturday, December 1st, 2007, at uh, 7.53 a.m. I got a video response to my last video from uh, StoofTube. Found out her name is Stephanie. Stephanie with a F. Stephanie, it's very nice to meet you. And uh, I got a kick out of watching that video. I really got a kick out of it. Um, <laughs> I... Uh, <laughs> I know, I wasn't acting too serious when I was acting like I was mad, <laughs> but uh, it was all in fun, yeah, I never was mad, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm gl so glad I made you laugh, you know, and uh, that's, uh, that's a plus in life when you can laugh, but I, um, I'm trying to think about your video, I should have wrote stuff down like you, um, <laughs> yeah, the description box thing, uh, that just came naturally, <laughs> Uh, I don't know what made me. I don't know what makes me do half the stuff I do on videos, but uh, <laughs> I, I do them. Um, as far as uh, you not like, liking my Rosie girl or any any animals for that fact, for that matter, um, yeah, that's cool. You know, I mean, like you said, they uh, they just eat, poop, and bark. But uh, there, there's a lot more to my Rosie girl than that. But she does shed, and uh, there actually are dogs. Like miniature schnauzers, or any any breed of the schnauzer uh, family, miniature schnauzers, standard schnauzers, or giant schnauzers, do not shed. And there's a few more, there's a few more. But uh, yeah, she sheds, and I have to vacuum a lot. But you know, it's worth it. It's all worth it. You know, she's uh, happy to see me when I come home from work, and uh, she she just she shows me love all the time, unconditionally. But anyway, anyway. Enough about that. Um, uh, I'm glad you had fun going out dancing. How was it? You know, I can't <laughs> can't do the dance that you did, but <laughs> glad you had fun with you and your boyfriend. And uh, hey, that creepy guy, you know, he uh, he probably enjoyed the dance. <laughs> as far as why I uh, how I came up with the name Rosa Girl, well, um, over three years ago. I uh, I was sick um, with cancer, had to test for cancer, and um, I'm cancer free now, but after my surgery to remove my right testicle, um, I was home recovering, and at that time I only had a few friends in, here in Tennessee, and I just, uh, I couldn't go far, I couldn't drive because I couldn't sit up because of surgery where it's at, you know, you can't when you have surgery down there, you really can't sit upright for a long time. So uh, I, 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 I made the best of it, and I got my car, and I went to the Washington County Animal Shelter. And uh, there was this dog, and uh, she, uh, her name was Rosie. And uh, the lady there, the volunteer, said, oh, you're going to love her. And I, I adopted her. She was already fixed. And I adopted her for twenty dollars, and uh, I've had her for three years. She's six years old, but um, that was September of 2004, and in December of 2004, I went down to Georgia to, to see my family. That's not where they're all originally from, but my brother, being a military man, he moved around. Uh, him and his family moved around a lot in the United States, even lived in Germany for three years. But they settled in a in a the town of Douglasville, Georgia, about, I think it's about 15, 15, in the 15 to 20 year range, they've lived there, they own a home, and my dad and stepmother moved from here down to there to be closer to them for the grandkids, and uh, my mom moved there from California to retire, and ended up meeting a man and got married, so now she lives, they live in their house, but they all live within 15 minutes of each other, so I went down there. 2004 Christmas, took my Rosie girl, only had her for three three months at a time, and um, when I get there, see my dad, my stepmother's name is Rose, okay, but my dad affectionately calls her Rosie, so 
this dog being new to me wouldn't listen to me all the time like she does now and um, when I get down there I was having to keep a, I wanted to keep a tight rein on her so that she wouldn't um, you know do stuff bad in the house so every time she got to doing something that I didn't think she should be doing I was like Rosie come here Rosie <laughs> next thing you know my stepmother's coming around the corner looking at me <laughs> and she's like you could tell it on her face she's getting a little annoyed that uh, I was calling Rosie all the time so on the way home I said man I gotta make I gotta change the name but I ain't gonna change it from Rosie so you know, I'm always praising her and calling her a good girl so I just uh, I added the girl part and now she uh, now her name is officially Rosie girl and uh, she's a hundred percent girl she's a she's a, a sweetheart but anyway uh, that's how she got the name Rosie girl um, I'm going to see a Christmas parade today with my friend Debbie it's at 6 p.m. downtown here in Elizabethton and uh, we're gonna we should have a good time it's uh, gonna be an old fashion country Christmas parade. Uh, the town I live in is about 13,000, give or take a few hundred, and uh, they, they put on a good show every time they have something like this, and so I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, I thank you so much for uh, the video response, and um, hey, how do you like my black and white? <laughs> some of my early videos were black and white, and I uh, decided to go back to it on this one. But uh, hey, anyway, take care, be good, and God bless.